Hello from DigiCool Things. Is your microcontroller too wide for your breadboard? No spare row of holes to make connections? Well, here's what I did. I got a second breadboard, flipped it over and made a cut along the bus bar so I could then remove the bus bar on one side and join it up with my other breadboard to create a wide breadboard with a bus bar down the middle. Now I can take my microcontroller and straddle it across the centre bus bar and by doing so I end up with three free pins on one side and two free pins on the other side. Two, three. And as a bonus, you have a bus bar down the middle which gives you two additional conductors if you want to route signals from one end of the breadboard to the other. Well that was easy. These breadboards are only 99 cents each so now I have a double width breadboard for $1.98 um, with plenty of tie points for um, additional components. Nice. That's it. Thanks for watching.